Alright, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And salutations to Yahweh, pushing his word in truth and sincerity and charity. This is going to be a response video to the brother uh, Yakya from uh, Jim in Chicago, our camp here in Chicago. You know, and then as you see in the screen, is, um, the name of the video is um, uh, Jim is jumping points, put off now the weak nature, be spiritual. You know, in that scripture, you no, know, that's from um, Second Edris 14 and 14. All right, it says, um, you know, with that, I'm going to read it. It says, let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature. You know, basically this video, you know, we're going to speak about um, staying in the spirit, you know, staying in the spirit. And uh, and not fulfilling the lust of the flesh, man. Cause um, you know, we live in times right now where um, uh, the doors of repentance are closing, and um, uh, the famine of the word is gonna be uh, is gonna come, man. You know, the scripture says there should be a cry for wine in the street. You know, basically everyone everyone's gonna look for this word, and they should not find it, man. You know, because uh, right now the Lord's giving us the opportunity to get this knowledge for ourselves and trim our lamps, man. And then build each other, build ourselves up. So when Jacob troubles comes, man, um, we got this wisdom in us, man. You know, the scripture says wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of, stability of our times and the helmet of strength uh, or uh, our straight, for our strength and salvation. You know, roughly paraphrasing, man. You know, but this this right here, this wisdom, this knowledge sh shouldn't be taken, um, you know, uh, as as uh, slightly, man. You know, this is a real serious thing. And, um, you know, with that, man, I'm continuing reading the scripture. It says, um, let go from the mortal thoughts and cast away the burdens of man. Put, up, put off now the weak nature, man. Cast away the burdens of man, man. Cast away, you know, the, 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 the things that, the common things that, greet, that really... Um, the the little afflictions or the little things that you go you go uh that you worry about you know it says here and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee man and the, this is you know worry not about the things that you know of this world man you know the little affliction you know because that you know ultimately that's the lord you know afflicting you you know and, and um you know building you up you know so sh you shouldn't be worried man you know you shouldn't be faint-hearted that you're going through certain things man you no, know, you should be uh, you sh it should be making you stronger, not weaker. It says, uh, and hasty to flee from the, uh, from these times, man. You know, cause right now, man, um, uh, I'm gonna go into it, but you know, our 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 mentality is um, you know um, is um, our mentality now is uh, you know, trying to figure out what 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 can we do more for the Lord each day, man. That should be. You know the things in our mind, man. You know, but um, <clears throat> that I'm gonna continue on with the lesson. This is um, all right. This is uh, Second Corinthians five and seventeen says, therefore, any if any man be any how shy, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. All right, man, because um, you know that old man, that old man is gone, is is dead, man. You know, we become new creatures, man. We are born through the spirit, man. We're not born after the woman anymore, man. So to speak, man. You know, cause it's not now. You know, we we ain't that carnal every oh, oh, two third man no more, man. You know, cause um, cause we, we put away those mortal thoughts, man. Some thoughts that we had back in the world and shit. You know, if I, you know, things, uh, you know, of this world, man. Worrying about the things in the world, man. You know, like things like how, that worry you, man. That trouble you. That really, you know, is not is nothing to be worried that you should be worrying about, man. Especially right now, man. That we're at the end, the end, the end seconds, man. It says um. It says uh, we become new creatures in the Lord, right? Now um, a precept to that would be um. Ephesians four and twenty two. It says um. That you be put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. 
right? Because the old man, you know, he walked after the flesh, man, not after the spirit. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever he desired, he, that was whatever carnal desire he had. He, in the, uh, I'm talking about the old man. You know, your, you, uh, your, your old man, or you know, I'm speaking for myself. Says um, any desire of the flesh I had in the world, man, that was that old man. You know, it says uh, they put off the concern. I read again. They put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. Now that former conversation is uh is um how you carry yourself, man. You know, uh you put off the that old conduct you had when you were uh in the when you were in the world, man. Look up the word conversation it says a manner of life, conduct, behavior, de deportment. I look up this word deportment. And we'll go back to these words is um a person's behavior or manners. You know, so, you know, it says put off uh, the former conversation, man. The former manner of life, man. You know, because we, we are new creatures in Yahweh Shai, like the scripture says, man. You know, we walk after the spirit now, not after the flesh. You know, it says, uh, this Philippians 3 and 20, it says, For our conversation is in heaven. You know, in the same word conversation, you know, for our, con as read again, it says, uh, with a different uh with the same word, uh, to like it, uh, let's read it again using uh, conduct. It says, For our conduct is in heaven, from whence also we look for a savior, the Lord Yahweh uh, Mashiach. You know? So, you know, we put away the former con conversation, the former conduct, and we and we establish a new conduct, which is in heaven. And I looked up the word conversation in this scripture, and it goes a little bit more deeper, man. You know, it says, um, uh, the first definition says administration of civil affairs or of a commonwealth. You know the constitution of a commonwealth, form of government, and the laws by which is, it is administered. You know, and what, what kind of what, what's the what's the ruling government, or what's the next government after after this government comes to pass? You know, so to speak. You know the the you know, the government body of of, of the of the Lord Yahweh Shai, man, the elect. You know, so we should we supposed to walk as the elect, man, carry yourself as the elect. No matter of fact, I was saving that scripture for you know for the end, but I'll bring it out. It's um, this is Colossians three and twelve. Three and twelve. It says, "Put on therefore as the elect of Yahweh, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, and long suffering." And these are things that that keep, will keep you in the spirit, man. You know, walking as the elect, man. You know. Um, so it says, uh, uh, a state, commonwealth, a commonwealth of citizens, man. You know, if you in um, if you go into Ephesians two and eleven, it says that we were um, we were strangers from the commonwealth, we were strangers from the commonwealth of Israel, man. But us coming back to to, to our true identity, man, we were supposed to walk as Israelites, man, as righteous Israelites, you know, because uh, how the Lord uh, has set, ha, has, had first set up men to be, you know. All right, now, um, now uh, this is a good example for here in First Peter four and one, how we should how uh, live in the flesh is um, uh. It, is uh you know I, I'll just read this says for as much then as Yahweh Shai has suffered for us in the flesh, our souls likewise the same mind for he ha for he that had suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men but to the will of Yahweh man. So the key word key point here is that that he no longer should live the rest of his life in the flesh man. Talking about uh, that that former that former uh, former man man that old man, you know that uh that former con conduct man, you know we should not we should no longer live that way man, you know because you know living that old man, you know means that you had you had you really didn't change man, you know, you, you know you you really didn't uh, put away the deeds of the flesh man, now, that's why Second Edges fourteen fourteen says uh. Uh, let go from the mortal thoughts, man, because that's a bunch of demons in your head, man. All right. 
<clears throat> now this is Matthew 6 and 21 let me start at 19 it says on let lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust do corrupt and where thieves thieves break through and steal but lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust do corrupt and where thieves will not break through nor steal now these treasures in heaven is talking about this word man you know, you know this word, this knowledge, man. You know, the scripture says that um, you know, um, uh, this word is precious, more precious than fine gold and silver, man. You know, you know the the, the scriptures um, uh, um, describe the word as being um pearls, man, precious precious thing. It says uh, verse twenty one. It says um, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be. So like it. Oh, yeah, that word, uh, let me read again. For where your treasure is, there, there will your heart be also. Man. So, hey, what, so, 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 where your mind's at, man, I mean your heart, you know, that, 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 that's where your treasures are going to be, man. So, you, if you're constantly, you know, if your mind is constantly thinking about this word, man, you know, then, then, you know, your treasures are going to be there, man. It says, uh, the li I'll read this is a good one too. Mess, uh, verse 22. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore the eye be single, that whole body should be full of light. You know, that, you know speaking about staying uh, you know, focused in this word. Staying single, man. You know, staying fo uh, forward, man. Not, not, not leaning towards uh, other winds of doctrines. Or like the scriptures lean not to the right or to the left. You know, but you know, you know, you stay, stay focused on this thing, man. You know, and um, let's see the next scripture I had is uh, Romans seven eighteen it says um for I know that in me, that is in my flesh, you know Paul wrote, dwelleth no good thing, for to for to will is, for to will is present present so like for to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. Hey, so we know, man, this 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 flesh uh, reaps corruption, man, because Paul even said it. It says, uh, in me dwelleth no good thing, man. You know? Th that's why it says, man, put uh, put off the former conversation, man. Because if you don't, you know, if, if, you, if, you, if you don't, let me see, if you don't, um, if, if you continue to live, if you continue to live in the flesh, man, you know, uh, Paul said, man, you know, the flesh toil no good thing so you so you should continue to live in the flesh you know uh you, you should have no good thing in you man you know you, you ultimately gonna get demons in you and shit uh you know you, then you fall out the truth man you know hey because the the flesh and the spirit war are at war with each other man you know if you if, if you let the flesh um fight over the spirit man then you become dead man you know the scripture says a carnal mind a carnal mind is death all right this is uh colossians 3 and 5 it says mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth fornication uncleanness uh inordinate affection evil con con cup cups con like evil con concupiscence can never pr pronounce that word it says and covenants which is idolatry so these are these are all the things that the flesh uh uh wants man or the flesh you know reaps man all these things the flesh reaps you know that's why scripture says mortify therefore your members man you know what does mortify mean let's look it up it says um says to make dead to put to death slay I mean, we put our our our, uh, our body into under subjection man we you know you know we uh, we put it to death man you know of an impotent old man <laughs> impotent is look up this word So yeah, that's that. Uh, we we um mortify the old man, unable to take a effective action, helpless or power par powerless. You know, so you know, of a man, you know, and then you know, a man that can't do anything, man, that's useless.
You put out the old man, man. To the power of power, destroy this, destroy the strength of. So we destroy the flesh, man. The strength of the flesh, which, which you know, Satan controls your flesh. You know, he puts demons on you and shit. You know, through the the Most High, ultimately. But it's up to us to discern whether um, if it's of the flesh or the spirit, man. You know, it's up to us to make the decision, man. Am I gonna do the right thing? Am I gonna follow the spirit, or am I gonna continue to um, listen to the flesh? You know, this whole this this whole thing is spiritual, man. All right. Um, now I had I had all these scriptures set up, you know, and um, and I was gonna go about James one and five, you know, because you know if uh, let me read it and I'll break it down. It says, "If any man of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High to give it to all men liberally." So if you lack wisdom, you know, because this word is wisdom. Uh, Falling after the spirit is wisdom. So if you lack, if you lack that, man, let, uh, ask the Most High, man. Uh, ask the Lord to, you know, to give you to give you that understanding, man. Uh, to 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 uh, give you that that zeal not to go after, not to not not to go after the flesh, man. It's a give to all men liberally and a bread not, and it should be given. It. And it should be given him. Alright, so hey, ask the most high to, you know, take them demons out from you, man, and to give you understanding, you know, of of, of following the spirit, man. Going after the spirit. Alright. This is uh, Romans eight and six. It says, For to be carnally minded is death, but the spiritually minded is life and peace. You know? So these are all these scriptures, man, that tell you to be to be have a spiritual mind, a sober mind. You know, you know, in part being sober is not uh, uh, first not going after these other philosophies and thoughts, but also not going after the your old man. That's part of being sober, man. You know, because you the old man was drunk, man. He was spiritually drunk. You know, but the new man, the new man that's in your house shy, he's supposed to be a spiritual man, a spiritual man. He's supposed to be spiritually minded, salaki. You know. Uh, this is Romans eight and six. It says, "For to be carnal minded is death." So, like I just read this one. Uh, this is Galatians six and eight. You know, because we just read uh, to be carnal minded is death. So this is Galatians six to eight. It says, "For the he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption." Man, you know, and let's look up the word corruption. You know, so and, and the other scripture says, "Man, he." Uh, Whatever you reap, that that's what you sow, man. It says corruption, destruction, perishing. It says destruction. If you reap to the flesh, you you you'll sow corruption, uh, destruction, man. You know that which is subject to corruption, what is perishable, man. Hey, the, the, these bodies are perish, perishable, man. You know, in the Christian sense, eternal misery in hell. Which this goes off, man, because you know we know that you know hell is a condition. We're living hell, you know. It says in the New Testament, in ethical sense, corruption, more of decay. All right, but um, uh, you know we we'll go back. All right, it says um, for he that sowed to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that sowed to the spirit shall of the spirit reap ev uh, life everlasting, man. And that's what we that's what we look forward, man. Everlasting life, being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, man. You know, being promised that we should never go off, man. And and not always worry about you know being in constant fear of of uh, you know fulfilling the lust of the flesh, man. You know, oh, you know, always knowing knowing that you won't go off, man. Because everlasting life is uh, you know um. <clears throat> uh, having those um, them, uh, them fleshy hearts, man. Those fleshy, flesh uh, hearts, man. You know, so uh, you know that's that 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 that's what we you know we striving now to walk to walk by the spirit. Let me see the next scripture I have is in Galatians five sixteen it says, "Then I say, then walk in the spirit, and you should not fulfill the lust of the flesh." All right. You know, you should not reap, uh, you should not, uh, 
what it says is you should not reap destruction, man, or corruption, man, if you walk in the spirit. No. All right. Now, now I read this, but I read it again. Colossians three two put on therefore as the elect, and then the, the elect he's gonna be walking by the uh, by the spirit, man. He's gonna be uh, sowing to his spirit, man. His mind is gonna, his treasures, his his heart, his treasures are gonna, uh, his mind is gonna be in this true treasures, man. You know, he's he's gonna, the elect is gonna mortify his members, man. The elect is gonna put away them uh, mortal thoughts, you know. He's not gonna live no long. He he's not gonna live no longer uh, as 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 the old man, man. You know. You know, he should not fulfill the lust of, of the flesh, man. You know, but, uh, let me see, uh, now, um, you know, I did believe that's it. You know, Lord William, this video was edifying. You know, um, you know, I just want to get straight to the point in the scriptures. Uh, but, uh, you know, I want to give all praise to you. How about Shimmy Al Shai? You know, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And salutations to y'all can push in his word in truth and sincerity. You no, know, and um and uh any brother feel free to you know make a response to the to the brother Yaki here, you know, which this video is very edifying. But um, you know, until next time I'm I'm gonna say uh shalom.